Hello guys and welcome to Technology. This is your host Salman and today in front of you is the all new Kia Karens. And I will be doing a complete walk around video of the Kia Karens today in front of you. I'm going to be, I'm going to be discussing all the features that comes uh, in the Kia Karens. Now in front of you is the Prestige Plus version which uh, we have uh, purchased. Uh, this is basically the upper mid uh, tier level or trim level whatever you would like to call it so I'm going to discuss all the features that this comes with and I'm going to try to explain all the features that this would be missing out over the luxury and the luxury plus versions if you were to get those so I might miss a few features so please excuse me for that but I'm going to try to explain all of the features of this vehicle uh, as extensively and in as much detail as possible so let's go on without further ado so starting on the front uh, from the front you can see this has an all new uh, design that is totally different from the other Kia vehicles that have been launched in India such as the Kia Sonnet and the Kia Seltos they have the big grill in the front un uh, unlike this one this one has a more you know futuristic kind of uh, uh, styling like something out of a cyberpunk game or something like that you can say you have the sleek uh, uh, glossy uh, finish in the front you have the LED DRLs on top which do come in the Prestige Plus version but you will be missing those out in the premium and the prestige versions you have halogen halogen bulbs in the front um, which again if you go for the luxury and the luxury plus versions you will get LED, full LED headlights over here unlike this one you have the halogen headlight and the turn indicator um, again you have a big gaping mouth over here that allows lots of air uh, for cooling and all that uh, the luxury and the luxury plus versions also come with uh, for LED fog lights over here, which this again misses out on. And then you got the little bit little diffuser on the bottom over, over here, which again coming to the side that continues on to become the fender flares, or you can call it the body molding, whatever you like to call it, on the side of the fender. You do got some nice bold body lines that add uh, quite a bit of character to the Kia Karens. Uh, the headlight again extending a little bit to the back that gives it more fast back kind of styling uh, you do get um, 16 inch alloy wheels uh, starting from the prestige plus versions and even the luxury and the luxury plus versions get come with the same size and the same type of uh, alloy wheels you don't have any options over there however the lower end trim levels you will get a slightly smaller rim that is a 15 inch steel rims with 195 section tires this these are 205 section tires by mrfs so continuing on you have the side view folding mirrors that actually fold and unfold automatically right now uh, i'm close to the car so it's opened automatically but you know you can uh, open it opens and closes as you approach the car because this this particular version comes with keyless entry and start again you can see this is the door uh, this particular color over here is called the moss brown version it has some kind of pearl in it as well you do get uh, plastic uh, mold cladding or molding on the bottom as well which gives this uh, car a very SUV kind of or off-road kind of feel uh, and look now this over here is part of the accessory package I'll be making a separate video on what all comes in that uh, the luxury and the luxury plus version will also come with some silver trim on the bottom which just miss us, misses out on of course door handle over there nothing special you do get chrome on this version by default this is not an accessory the window uh, the window visors are part of the accessory packages obviously and you do get silver uh, silver um, accented uh, roof rails as well on the top the rear door handles now the luxury and the luxury plus versions also come with chrome handles uh, on the outside this one does not this is just body colored which is again you know it's decent enough chrome over here which is again good uh, now the chrome on the rear tail light is also part of the accessory package and you do get the LED tail lamps uh, that will not be there on the lower end trim levels again the plastic continues on the bottom over here and it comes and uh, um, emerges into this bigger kind of uh, molding you can see over here lots of plastic over here with the silver accenting on the bottom with the gloss black at the bottom which basically complements some of the interior uh, color theme 
on the outside this is how it looks on the back you get a uh, rear defogger and the rear wiper on this version you will not get this on the lower trims stop lamp on the top and you got a really big spoiler unlike uh, some other mpvs out there like the ortega which has a really small um, spoiler which is basically almost good to non-existent uh, now this is just one uh, this is the reflector over here kia logo you do get a rare parking camera on this version and you do get uh, an electronic uh, bo trunk opening button over there as well parking sensors on the back you also get parking sensors on the front four on the back four on the front which is a really good thing um, tgdi badging this is a gasoline uh, direct injection turbo so that is there we'll be talking more about the engine once i open the hood so let us go ahead and quickly open the hood uh, before jumping into the interior so I can show you uh, what the hood looks like and what are the engine options over there all right so now looking under the hood you can see you got a manual hood prop over there no hydraulic uh, struts for the hood uh, you do not get padding over here since this is a petrol version you do get the padding over here on the, uh, on the under, underside of the hood on the diesel versions now this particular engine trim over here is the gasoline direct injection turbo uh, there's a four cylinder uh, 1400 cc inline four uh, motor that produces around uh, 142 bhp and uh, 242 newton meters of torque uh, which is uh, 10 newton meters less than what the diesel motor makes the diesel motor uh, comes with a 1.5 liter diesel uh, four cylinder uh, that produces around 215 meters of torque and 115 bhp there is also a naturally aspirated uh, petrol trim that is available on the lower trim levels that produces uh, the least amount of power and is the least fuel efficient obviously being a normal naturally aspirated one that produces around 115 uh, bhp and a very very less 100 around somewhere around 140 newton meters of torque which is very low i mean but it, obviously you're saving money on those versions so you know if you want to save money and you want a big car you can get those versions because those are significantly cheaper than the turbo versions like you you'll save around one lakh rupees uh on those versions so just uh, looking at the layout you do have your brake reservoir windshield washer i mean your coolant reservoir windshield washer fluid you got your uh, abs system at the back over there uh, beauty cover on the engine four cylinders you got some electronics going in here your um your air filter box your battery which is a smaller size one i believe the diesel would come with a bigger size because the diesel needs more uh, cranking amps uh, you got your fuse box over here and a bunch of electronics for the, the ECU is behind the battery. So let's go in, let's go and look at the interior now. All right, so let's go and take a look at the interior. Now you do have a button over here since I said this version comes with keyless entry and start. So you can basically lock and unlock uh, the car just by having the remote in your pocket. And by the way, speaking of the remote, this is how the remote looks on this version. The remote on the lower trims would look a little bit different because they have a switch key uh, kind of mechanism because those do not come with the keyless entry. So they have a switch key. Uh, you do get a lock, unlock, and the boot opening button over here. The automatic versions will also come with a remote start button over here, which is a really good feature uh, on those versions. The manual does not. So let's go ahead and open the door really quick and take a look inside. Now this is the layout that this comes with. You do get a beige and black interior with the silver accenting that is again carried on from the outside. Same kind of uh, color theme. They're kind of using the color theme inside and outside to give you know the car uh, to basically complement the design even more. Uh, you now on this version over here, you do get hard plastics over here, as you can see, hard plastics over here as well here as well on the luxury and the luxury plus versions or i believe on some automatic versions as well you get padding over here and here as well now you do get some uh, a place to grab over here some storage space over here three bottle openers i mean bottle holders my bad on the bottom of the door you can basically store a lot of stuff and a space to store your umbrella over there now over here you do get your switch panel 
uh, which includes your window switches uh, the one thing I didn't like is not all the windows are auto up and down only the driver window is auto up and down I really wish they had uh, included the option for the passenger windows for auto up and down as well this is the button for uh, locking and unlocking the windows in case you have children and they're messing around with the switches back there uh, so you can lock the windows lock and unlock button for the door locks you do get the, the adjustment for the these are the buttons for the adjustment for the side view mirrors now like i said this are you have electronic uh, folding side view mirrors you do get a tweeter over here speaker down there and over here you get some storage space on the right side ac vent push button start um traction control and the adjustment for the headlight beam uh, this is not a storage compartment this is uh, where it contains some fuse boxes uh, fuse fuses back there this is the button for the trunk i mean for the hood uh, your accelerator brake and clutch levers over there manual seat adjustment none of the version come with electronic seat adjustment so that's a little bit of a bummer uh, now stepping on the inside let me just close the door and the door has quite a big uh, good thump to it when you close it so it feels very premium uh, when you get into the Kia Karens. Now this is how the steering wheel looks, not a flat bottom steering wheel uh, but still it looks really good with the silver uh, silver uh, on the bottom over here, the large Kia logo, you got SRS airbags on the steering wheel. Now on the Kia Karens you get 6 airbags standard on any version. Uh, you do get controls for your radio over here with some chrome around here uh, and then these are controls for the MID in front which I will make a more extensive video on the MID later on uh, you do get indicators over here your indi I mean your indicators your headlight controls over here your MID which I am going to quickly just give you a small glance at this is how it looks uh, right side is for the revolutions per minute left side is for the speed and center you have your MID which basically gives you lots of information you can configure different things you have your fuel indicator on the left and your coolant indicator on the right so pretty neat I mean there's not uh, I really wish they would have a little bit more information on that but I'll make a different video or a review video on this particular unit you have your 8.5 inch touchscreen that supports Android Auto and Apple CarPlay um, the luxury and the luxury plus versions will come with a um, bigger 10.5 inch around 10 inch or 10.5 inch uh, touchscreen display that has a Kia Connect as well in which you can basically do a lot more things like you know control the AC with your phone and there's a lot of fancy stuff you might want to look at some other videos regarding that I do not have that system so I am unfortunately I cannot show you that and you do get uh, on the luxury in the luxury plus version this will be complete piano black over here all the way even to the door side and that side will also be piano black you do you do get manual um, volume adjustments over here which is actually a good feature ac vents again over here hazard light ac vents you do get automatic climate control on this version which you will not get on the premium or the prestige version versions um USB type A which you can use to use for Android Auto or you can even plug in your uh, USB thumb drive and you can listen to your music through there this does support USB thumb drive as well your 12 volt power socket over here and a type C port for charging luxury and the luxury plus versions will come with a wireless charging pad over here which this obviously misses out on uh, you do get uh, hill descent control and your front parking sensor on and off button over here the luxury in the luxury plus versions will come with uh, ventilated seats i mean now when i when i say luxury in the luxury plus versions i'm not saying that both of them may contain but one of them has some of these features that i'm talking about so they will have uh, ventilated seats in the front and the buttons for which will be here these two uh, you will also get on the automatic version you also get a, a mode selector over here for a sport or sport comfort and you know medium uh, driving modes over here your six-speed manual transmission yes this is a manual transmission this is the reverse basically to put it in reverse you had to put, press this button and put it in reverse there's your uh, uh, rear parking camera with real-time guidelines 
handbrake cooled bottle uh, bottle holders basically how this works is there's air coming out of here which basically works when you turn on the ac and you can uh close or open it using this switch over here some storage space over here under the armrest and down here as well i really wish that they had uh, a sliding armrest that would you know basically extend forward if you wanted to but you know, we'll just work with what we have for now uh your glove box over here which is kind of small i wish they had a little bit bigger glove box this doesn't this will not fit a lot of stuff they could have had a glove box over here also maybe um this is your owner's manual which basically comes in this beautiful leather style um uh, bag um on the top you do get your lights over here now this does not come with a sunroof so you'll not get a sunroof controls sunglasses holder over here these are normal bulbs the uh the luxury and the luxury plus will come with leds vanity uh, this this is just your sun visor which will come with a ticket holder the one on this side comes with a vanity mirror uh grab handles over there and nothing special let's go on the back side and see what it looks like um before that i just want to show you the seats let's just quickly move out and let us see the seats so this is the seats uh, you do get cloth seats over here with a little bit of uh, a leather type finishing over here and i don't know why it's chiming but probably reminding me that the uh, door is open so now coming to the back you again get the beige and black theme on the door as well just like in the front uh you do get your window switch over here no soft padding you don't get two bottle open uh, holders over there again i don't know why i keep saying bottle holders but bottle openers but yeah whatever uh now this is again this does not come with a car this is just a pa part of the accessory package this again i just removed the seat plastic just to show you how the seats look like uh the luxury and the luxury plus versions will come with leather seats that will be uh, with the same color combination as the doors uh you do get uh a handle over here for changing the recline angle the seat these seats can be moved forward or backward using a lever uh, under the seat which is a really good uh, feature and you got a headrest over here also you do have let me show you real quick you do have this this uh, thing over here can turn into an armrest let me just try to i need to do it with two hands so excuse the shaky camera so once you pull that strap and then you can pull this down and you can use this as a armrest and a bottle holder at the same time you do get uh, your rear blower control over here dedicated there is a dedicated blower for the rear seats which is actually a really good thing uh, because some cars they usually use the blower in the front and that's all they're just circulating so this has a dedicated blower which is a really good feature you do get a uh, usb type c charging ports over here two of them so you don't have to fight over it and there is a small slot over here I'm not sure if i can show you that but there is a small slot over here that that one so once you open it there there will be cold air coming out of it and you can keep some cans over here some drink cans and you can cool them using that um the rear seats have uh, some uh, pockets behind them even that one does now in the luxury in the luxury plus versions you will get a uh, uh, air purifier behind this seat and behind that seat you will get a parcel tray uh, and that's what that's all you get on the roof you will get a uh, ac vent for each passenger one on this side one on that side and then you can turn off or turn on the ac vent and one good thing is when you close this suppose you don't want air to directly fall on you there's air coming out on the sides which basically diffuses everywhere and it's not directly falling on you which is actually a good feature in my opinion and one of the coolest features about the Kia Canons is you get the sun shades over here by default you don't need to pay extra for this 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 comes by default and adds you know make gives you kind of a more luxury and upmarket feel uh, even for a not very costly car
so let's go and let me show you one more feature that is very cool on the Kia Karens so on this side now I have uh, tumbled the seat already let's just put the seat backwards where it belongs so basically once the seat is in the upright position for example and you need to and you need for people to go inside you there is a button over here which Kia has added but it's only available on this side and is available both on the six seater and the seven seater version as well all you need to do is just press this button and the seat folds just like magic and then now you have a lot of room to go into the third row now in my opinion uh, the third row is very spacious in this car i really like it for somebody of my size i am around five foot five inches and for me somebody like me there's a lot of room here and I feel really comfortable on this seat uh, over here. Now, in the back over here, you again get uh, type C charging ports for both passengers, cup holders, and some storage spaces over there. Uh, and a little bit uh, space over there, as you can see, for grabbing or something like that. You get a small window over there, and again, AC vents for each passenger with a rear light as well. And rear passengers, also, third row passengers will also get uh, seat belts, which is actually a good feature. So let's go ahead and let me quickly now I know you might be wondering why do I have bags over here now some of you might have guessed the reason for that is because I want to put these bags and I want to show you how much room there is in the back so now this is uh, one of the favorite things that I like about the Karens is there's a lot of room everywhere now the back over here with the, uh, with the two seats upright you do have a lot of space now these seats can come back a little bit more let me show you how much more now that's that's the maximum that they can come back but uh, let's assume we're gonna keep this bag on the left side the small bag now even the big bag would fit with the two seats uh, folded we just quickly so that's how it looks with the bag now uh, and that's a normal size uh, carry-on bag that is comfortably fi uh, fit over there it it will not fit while the seat is totally uh, reclined all the way back but if it is uh, partially reclined it will fit very comfortably and so will this bag let me show you real quick i'm going to just pause this video while i put the bag and i'll be right back okay now with the two seats partially reclined uh you still have a lot of room uh to fit the whole big bag and i can even close the lid comfortably I'm not going to close it right now but yeah i can close the lid but you can only fit one of this bag and probably some small stuff on the side as well uh now if you now if you were to remove this bag let's just remove this bag and you know we're just going to let the seat fold down and if you remove this bag we will also fold down this seat so you can see you have a lot of room over here now forgive me there might be some golden hair over here because i have a golden retriever dog that just sat behind um but yeah now if you have this bag you can basically fit this bag like this and still have plenty of room back here now i can obviously do this as well for example i can push this all the way front and now you see you can fit one more bag over there one more bag over there one more bag over here so you have at least four bags over here and then you have still room for more bags so plenty of room like if you are only five people and you are going you're planning on a long trip you can keep a lot of luggage you know your cooler your bags your bath your food fruit baskets or whatever what not you do get a light over here to see in the trunk when it's dark of course you do get some uh, holders over here to hold some stuff like your plastic bags or grocery bags so that they don't flunk around everywhere um, if you lift this portion up you do get some storage space over here which is a little bit deep over here as well on this side so you can keep a lot of stuff over there you do get your uh, toolkit again which comes with uh, your jack you do get uh, if i can find it just one second I can okay yeah you do get your tools different tools uh, this particular one over here is for the towing hook this one is for uh, 
all the stuff for your jack and you know this is the wrench for opening your lug nuts and all of that stuff which comes in very neat uh, kind of bag over here which is a really nice feature I liked so your first aid kit this is just a plastic off of the front seats and your uh, danger light uh, and this is a small portion over here which you basically have to turn and open and then you know you can use the wrench to basically drop the wheel the spare wheel that is at the bottom that is located at the bottom of the car over here as you can see um, that's all there is to see over here in the Kia Cannons. Um, let me see if I'm forgetting anything. I'll be right back. Uh, so before I end the video, I would like to uh, show you the exhaust sound. So let me find the tailpipe is on this side. So I'm going to keep you close to the tailpipe uh, so that you can hear the engine sound. I'm going to go ahead and turn the car on and rev it a little bit so that you guys can hear the sound of So that's how uh, it sounds, I hope you enjoyed that, it does not sound like a sports car but yeah I just wanted to give you an idea of how it sounds like. So in the la in, before ending the video I just want to give you a quick impression of what I felt or what we felt so far uh, with uh, this car. Uh, first of all you know I really like that this is a big size MPV and you know it has a lot of space. You know, if you want a MPV at a great price and which offers a lot of space you can go for the Kia Karens it's actually bigger than the Ertiga and feels a lot more premium and upmarket than the Ertiga and the XL6 now on the highway and on the roads the suspension is something that I really like it's very smooth and absorbs bumps very well on the highway or if you're traveling on the highway at 6th gear uh, on 6th gear um, around 2000 rpm or something like that uh, and you're maintaining about let's say going around 100 kilometers per hour the car is very smooth you won't even hear the engine running uh, engine is barely you know uh, straining itself or something like that so it's running it'll run very smoothly you'll enjoy the ride uh, you can obviously go faster but i'm just giving you an idea of how it runs at around 100 kilometers per hour um, other than that the ac and all also i found that it's really good the ac cools really well and really fast um, I think that's about it. I might make uh, another video discussing uh, some key points that I like about the Kia Karens and I do not like about the Kia Karens. Uh, I'll make a different video on that but for now I just wanted to give you a comprehensive walk around of the Kia Karens so that you can get a good idea now if you like the video please do uh, hit the like button and please do subscribe to my channel it'll really help me out and if you have any questions or comments regarding the Kia Karens please uh, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and I will find time and respond to your comments as soon as possible thank you for watching see you next time on technology peace out